Hey YouTube, this is Rafaus. Today we have uh, unboxing three bo three boxes from eBay and um, some LCS pickups I made last weekend. So let me get started. I'll go ahead and show the LCS pickups I made since they're already out of boxes. So I got, <clears throat> these are some Wolverines that were later in the run that I had quit, I guess, collecting by that time. So this is number 66. These are all from probably 93, or 92 or 93. That's a cool, uh, Looks like Tex Avery cover. This is Wolverine uh, 68. And uh, again, probably from 93. Yeah. Awesome Sabretooth Wolverine cover. 30th anniversary of the X Men. And this is Wolverine number 69. Again, just one I didn't have that I had quit collecting at that time. And then I found this older Avengers in really good shape, number 228 from 1982. It's got the uh, trial of the Yellow Jacket. Sorry if I'm sniffling, I've kind of under the weather this week, so caught something somewhere, but anyway, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and then I've got this just for the cover. This is Marvel Fanfare number six. It's an awesome uh, Scarlet Witch Spider Man cover. Looks like it's in really good condition, too. So, but uh, yeah, and it's pretty cheap. And then this is uh, Marvel Tales 228. This is a uh, Todd McFarlane cover, if you couldn't tell. It's one I didn't have. Come across the McFarlane cover, have to pick it up, especially if it's pretty cheap. And this is Amazing Spider Man 388, because I had stopped collecting at 382, and uh, I saw this look like it was in really good condition. It's kind of a, uh, I'm not sure if it's a key or what, it's, it's like Peter Parker's parents or something. But it's one of those fancy blue or foil covers. <clears throat> and I also got some DC. Uh, this is Batman 441. <clears throat> this is the A Lonely Place of Dying Part 3 of 5. It's got Two-Face there on the cover. And I think Tim Drake, I think that is, Robin. Good luck is in really good condition, so... It was only, it was real cheap, like three or four bucks. <clears throat> and then this is a Batman 442. The next one, this is a part five of five. I think this is actually the first time Tim Drake puts on the Robin costume or something. And it, again, this looked like it was in really good condition, so. And pretty cheap. And the last one, this I already have, but I thought this was in a bit better condition than the one I have. This is X-Men 251 from uh, 1989. Kind of a classic cover with Wolverine there on an X. Hanging on an X. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this... It was real cheap, so... I uh, thought I'd get a better uh, copy of it. So that was my pickups from LCS. So let's start with the um, unboxings. These are uh, all going to be filling in my Spider-Man run. Um, let's see, how can I cut this? Cut it this way, I guess. Well, there's nothing there. <clears throat> From the uh, Blow 100s. So hopefully these will be in good condition, although this packaging is kind of <laughs> just a vanilla envelope, it looks like. With... Uh, cardboard in it all right and it's just oh, there's some cardboard 
and it looks like it's between two pieces of cardboard. So let's cut the tape on the cardboard, not on the comic. Hopefully, I keep I'm looking at this and not. <laughs> hard to get it in frame and, and then looking at it all right let's see what we got here this is oh, amazing spider-man 97 this is a uh, one of the famous I think it's from 19 uh, was it 71 yeah and this is one that doesn't have the comic code authority because um, it has drugs in it I think there were three amazing spider-man around this time that didn't have the code so these are kind of expensive because of that but uh and this one's not in the greatest shape but it was in a good enough shape for me um for the price i paid so i think it was like 40 bucks or something but you know these go for hundreds so <laughs> i'm happy to get that Open the next one. This is, this is in a Gemini, so that's much, hopefully, better um, packing. Uh, packing slip. Hopefully, I don't have to skip that. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, blue tape everywhere. Yeah. Alright, so this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 92. And this has Iceman and Gwen Stacy there on the cover. Pretty interesting story where Iceman thinks, I guess Spider-Man's abusing Gwen Stacy. When she <laughs> he basically just grabbed her to try to convince her that he didn't kill her dad. Um... Yeah, this one's, you know, it's kind of in rough shape, but uh, again, these are pretty expensive. and So I got this one for a really good deal. I think it's got some problems there on the spine. But the, uh, I mean, overall, the picture and everything looks good. I'm going to have a tough time determining what's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> There's so many good covers uh, in this. And the stuff I got from the LCS and the Spider-Man covers are just awesome. All right, let's get the last one. Uh, let's see. This one's in a, in a big box, but it's actually a little crushed, as you can tell here. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, a bunch of paper, uh, newspaper. Newspaper. And some bubble wrap. Uh, uh -oh. I hope this book's okay. Looks like it's in kind of a flimsy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was I was looking at the back going, oh no, it looks messed up, but they, it looks like they added a book. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So they added a Dick Tracy, <laughs> a Gladstone Dick Tracy book, it looks like. I'm not sure what, it doesn't look old or anything, it's just kind of in bad shape. <laughs> well, thank you for the book there, I'll have to give that a read. And this is what I got, uh, Spider-Man number 87, kind of a classic cover. And this one is not in too bad shape. It's got a few spine dings on it, but the colors are really bright. Um, and it says, Spider-Man Unmasked. He has to confess to his friends. I think he's in, in this story, he's, he's like, he, he thinks he's really sick and dying or something. And he has to tell us, <clears throat> so he's gonna tell his friends but I don't think that actually happens, but it's there on the cover. There's Mary Jane and Gwen and her dad. He's still alive, I guess. <laughs> and then, of course, Osborne, Harry Osborne. 
that's number 87 i think i've almost got the 90s um i think i got one more to get the 90s and then i have some in the 80s to get so anyway this was the uh this was what i got this time for the box opening and everything hope everyone has a great weekend coming up and uh i will be making more videos give me a thumbs up and uh subscribe if you like i'll talk to you later bye